Hi, I'm the Barbecue Butcher. In today's video, I'll be breaking down a whole pork barrel into boneless cuts that you'll be able to use for bacon, uh, roasts, and other bits and pieces. So what a pork barrel is, is the center cut of a hog or a pig. So on this half here, you'd have the forequarter and the head, and on this side, you'd have its hind legs going down there. So what is in the middle section is the loin runs all the way down here and these are the bellies which everybody loves pork belly and then inside it when we get into it you'll see the eye fillets sit, sit in here so we'll get to that in due course so anyway first cut we're going to do is we're going to mark down the backbone as you can see here there is the bone we're just going to follow that on each side of it all the way down to the back end down here. Hold it. You can see that. So it's just a straight cut down. And then we will start to bone them out. So this way you just angle your knife in against the bones of the spine. And so on up here. There's many different ways to bone these out, but I find this is one of the easiest ways to do the boneless cuts. And just make run your knife down again. Okay, so we've done that. And then you're gonna swing them over like that. And if you open it up, we're gonna show you what we're gonna do. In here is the pork spare ribs uh, see I'm running that down there so you got your ribs to your bellies so we'll just mark that I'll mark that a couple of times like I just did there but a bit harder on both sides the reason we're doing this and then we're gonna split it open so we've done that we've done the marking now the next technique is we're gonna take these fillets out you just grab this it's all just waste it's just a bit of skirt meat you can use that in sausages if you want and then you'll see that pork fillet come to life that lives under here so straight down and then we're going to get your knife and scoop scoop and just pull out the pork fillet and there's a one pork fillet i'm going to do the same on the other side And scoop because here you can see here the knife there's actually bones there so that's why we're scooping against the bones and most fillets have this cover of fat over it and just take it there I'll take it there okay so remember we did this cut down there a couple of times oh, on the it's on a soft bone so then you're going to get this part here sounds pretty brutal what we're going to do here you'll hear it crack and if you come in here you'll see it see it's all opening up like that we just cracked it just slowly slowly run your down, knife down a few more times and it opens it all up so that takes off the belly from the meat and you want to do the same on this side This makes it a lot easier to take the meat off the bones when we need to do it. Okay, so that's all done. Don't push down heaps because you don't want to rip the meat by hand. Okay, the next step is we're going to take what we call flare fat off the inside of the pork belly. You can see it there. And this, this piece of chunky meat here is a skirt. So you can just use that for sausages. That there as you can see i've got my superstar dog beside me waiting for his uh his chance to get some food but he's gonna have to wait a little bit today so then we take off that that's the and then people use this in cooking you can see through my hand they wrap it around stuff to keep it moist salami guys use it heaps of different people 
So then you see here, we've got the skirt and you see the bones coming through there. And then you can see it there. So we've picked it all up. Now this, what we're going to do is put your knife in. Come through. And then here. And we're just going to pick all this meat up on the ribs. You could make these a lot meatier if you wanted to, to get baby back ribs. But we're not making those today. So, if you, and we're going to slowly take your knife. Remember angling it always to the bone. Angling. Angling. And then start scooping out. And it'll just feed out the belly to give you a boneless belly meat. Here's your brisket bone. So there's a whole sheet of spare ribs. So a whole belly rib there with the baby backs and everything on it. So we'll deal to that later. So that's one half of it done. Now we're going to repeat that same process on the opposite side. So again, take the skirt off. Put your knife down, get the fat, just slowly pull it out. And if you need to make a little mark here, that'll help it flow down to you. See that? Because if you don't do that little nick, it'll just sit there all in one motion. So again, that's really cool roasting stuff. So then we're going to find that skirt. If you see here, you can see that mark there to there. And then we just go up like that. So that should clear all that all that bone out. And then we're going to do the same down this side of what we did on the other on the other side. And then you grab that. Come up. Big strokes. Can't hurt it. The old saying of meat and butchery. You can't hurt it, it's already dead. The thing that I remember as an apprentice, people always just go, little nicks. As somebody once said to me, it's dead. It can't hurt, you can't hurt it. Carry on down, just slowly pulling these ribs off. As I, as I said, you could leave more meat on these bones if you wanted them, it's all depending on how much meat you want it or you want it on your bellies. So, there's another spare rib there. So then we've done that part with the, the bellies off. Now we've got the backbone in there. And before, remember at the first start, we, um, we marked down the inside of it. So here's the good part. See, I've just picked it up, running my knife down the pork bone. Then when you get down to this part, there's a little bone here. Mark it down first like that. So you're straight in. And then we're going to pull this down and then I'll just show you and then you've got a whole boneless loin belly all together so we'll put that one there and we'll get this side done now it's uh, I find this the easiest way to get boneless product this way this side is easier for me because I'm right-handed but remember when you're coming through don't put your knife into your if you know what I mean it's going to hurt and then pick that up there. Done. So that's what we call a whole pork backbone. It's all connected. So like that. And then we've got that there. And I'm wipe my hands. Okay, so the next cut we're going to do is people, what you'd use this for. What I'm going to do here is do the whole pork sirloin. I'm going to take it out in one piece. And it's what we call eye bacon or Danish eye bacon, uh, sirloin bacon. There's so many different terms that you can use this cut for. I had a lot, of, a lot of messages about, hey, how do we make homemade bacon 
cut. So this is what this one is for, for those people that sent me the emails. Just always remember, there's always going to be this little bit of shoulder, shoulder bone when you cut off your forequarter. So that just sits there, so you don't need that. So here you can see that line going down there. So just one little nick there. And we're going to pick the sirloin up. So in other videos you've seen me do beef and beef sirloins and scotches. It's the same in the pork. Just cut through there in the seam. You're just pulling out from the seam. And there you got it. Just pull it, let the work, the meat do its own work. Bang. Pull that up. And down. There we go. So it's just pulling it out on the seam. This will make sense when you see it's all been pulled away from the skin. Okay, so there's what we call a whole whole boneless sirloin of the pork. And then that is how you'd you'd cure that like that, and then you'd just slice it that way. And I'll show you what they look like, so then you'll recognize it. So we'll leave that bit there, we'll make it we'll make a roast out of that. But then see this, cut it there, it's gonna look like eye bacon. So when that's been cured, you'll see it like that on your plate. And that's how we make, that's how we turn that into one cut of the different types of bacon. That's going to be rindless eye bacon. Come back to those. So then again, with here, we've got the belly. You've got this excess skin. But we can take that off because that makes great crackle. And we'll tie that back on some of our roasts. And this part here, we're just going to make this belly all squared up because down the bottom we have this have a bit of a you know skirts and different cuts of the pork which not the best to use so this one we're going to turn into uh rindless bacon this belly is really thin it's thin as i mean it's got no fat on it whatsoever this is the most skinniest pig in a long time but it's good for the bacon that's why we're doing it so here we're just going to run our knife down slowly until we get to the edge of the skin. See that? We just go through it like that. Changes colour. I'm going to push up with our knife like that. And this takes a bit of practice to get used to. So we're going to angle our knife again like that. Run it along there. And we're going to push up. Push the meat up. And again, we just re repeat this same motion to take all the skin off to get boneless bellies big pork companies around the world they have automatic ones that do this that is is not done by hand so that's how a lot of this is done but guys at home hunters that want to do boneless boneless and skinless pork belly this is what you do so you just do a little bit two centimeter cut push it up if it was a bit fatter be a bit easier but when they're really lean like this you just start going through so you just keep on pushing cutting it pulling it up Ooh, there we go so always take those bits off and then again again the most tiresome part of doing this is this part here and then roll that up like that and then this will just slowly come off at the end. Bang again. Just do the roll and cut. Roll, cut, roll, cut. Some people like skin on belly. Some like skin off. All, all go to different cuts. All different recipes require different stuff. So this is just something for you guys to do at home. Or if you get a wild pig and it's really hairy and black and, you know, and this is a way of taking the skin off it that you don't want to give you 100% meat. Uh, so there's a boneless belly like that. And then you can cut these. People stuff them. They do heaps of different things. So you can roll them. People roll them up like that. And then they 
slice them here to give your pork belly slices like that. You can, you can roll them long ways or you can roll them short ways. So whatever way you want to do, whatever way you want to do it. Or you just do it, season that, brine it, and then that'll make awesome boneless, boneless skinless belly bacon. Okay, so then we go over to this one, the second one we've got off the same pig. We're not going to take the skin off this one like we did. We're going to leave it on for skin on bacon. And just always remember to have a look at these little bones. Sometimes they sneak in. I'll show you. There you go. That's just from the rib cage. So here again, we'll just and check if it's got the shoulder blade in it. A little, little bone in there. So we take that off. Now this one, we're just going to go straight down. There we go. Straight down. So this one here, you can leave it for skin on bacon. The same process as what we did for skin off. Or you can do these for pork roasts. Uh, bonus skinless roast, which I love. We might do one of those now. So give it a quick score with your knife. And then, yeah, and then the way we're going to tie it is again, I've got other videos up on how to, how to tie a pork roast, but then just give you a basic one of what I'm doing. Bang. Uh, as I said, the other video shows me doing the knot a lot slower. I'll do it slower for you there. Uh, it's a really good knot, and all these knots at this end should be in the same line. That's what makes a good butcher, is to be able to tie all your knots in the same line. I see a lot of guys do them and they're all over the show. They shouldn't be like that. They should be all in the same line. So you should be able to control how far and how tight you pull it down. But it just takes time and practice to get it done. It's not as easy as that looks. So that's why I'm going to would carry on doing that is for the whole roast. And then we'd cut it into however many you want it for your family. So we'll put that over there. Now for this belly, we're going to do this as skin on. So we want the crackle. You've got to remember, some bellies have boobies. So you don't want to freak out people that come for dinner and have a whole pork belly. Just cut off its boobies. It's, um, it doesn't look very good on people's plates when they see a big nipple looking at them. Um, so just take that off. And there's one little one there. Again, these are bigger, smaller on different pigs. They've had a million, million piglets. They're going to be bigger. So again, we're just going to trim this off here just to straighten it all up because it has this gross piece of fat always at the end of each belly. So I can just drag that through there. And then that is a boneless pork belly that you can do whole like that or the, again cut it in half depends how much you want to use or what I love is slices like this pork slices with the skin on so you just slowly cook those on your cooker and then you have one of those on each plate like that so that's pretty much what a whole a whole boneless loin turns into so I'll quickly go over it again. You got a boneless belly with the skin on. You get a couple of pork fillets. You get the the uh, skin on eye roasts or loin right boneless loin roasts. The boneless skinless bellies that you can turn into bacon at home. Pull that down. Uh, again, boneless steaks. A whole eye that you can use for uh, uh, bacon and then you've got your massive pork ribs here that you can use and if you want to turn take this little piece off up here this is the soft bone just bang take it straight off the corner it's meaty so you can just turn those into your ribs at home which we'll be having this weekend 
And that's pretty much it. And all this off-cut stuff, you can go into sausages, diced pork, or whatever you want to use it for. And uh, we'll be making some sausage videos coming up, so remember to look out for those. Yeah, hope you really enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot. Catch you up soon.